Virgo, welcome back. So Virgo, this is going to be a reading for uh, mid-month July. It'll run about two weeks, okay? Um, it is a you versus them spread, and so I'm going to pull cards on you, what your hopes, fears, next steps are. Then I'm going to pull cards on the person external to you, what their hopes, fears, next steps are. Keep in mind that the person external can be anyone of significance over the next two weeks. Does not have to be an intimate lover, but can be intimate, can be an ex, can be a family member, a friend, a co-worker, you name it, whoever it resonates with for you during the reading. Um, and also keep in mind, because it's a general reading, it can be interchangeable. So, let's go ahead and get started. Also, check out my other YouTube, Tarot Talks with Dana, as well as my Instagram and Facebook links down in the description box below. So, Virgo, I have a very intense energy around me today, okay? And I felt really compelled to do your reading uh today as well as pisces so we'll see might be interconnected with the pisces for some of you not all of you but for some reason i felt those two today um <laughs> regardless the overall energy here is the five of cups which is um feeling a sense of sadness or loss um this could be the energy that you're coming into this mid-July with, uh, leaving behind, um, but it is the shared energy for you and the person you're dealing with, so we'll see how that um, pans out for you. So, uh, overall energy for you is the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles in this deck has a different meaning than traditional tarot. So, in this deck, it's something that's kind of crept up on you or snuck up on you. For, so, for some of you, this emotion or this underlying uh, issue here may have kind of snuck up on you, quite literally, taken you off guard or crept up on you in one way or another. So, like, maybe you weren't expe expecting to feel the amount of emotion that you're feeling during this time frame, whether it be good or bad. Um, and you know, it quite literally might be taking you by surprise. Okay. Or the person you're dealing with, because it can be interchangeable. Now the traditional meaning of the two of pentacles is also, you know, trying to gain balance, uh, while maybe, you know, juggling a lot, you know, or going back and forth in your mind, vacillating, you know, so that energy may be going on as well for you. Now, the person you're dealing with is embodying the devil card. It is Capricorn energy here now. So I have Capricorn and water out so far. Um, that could be literally the person you're dealing with, so zodiac sign, or it could just be the energy they're embodying. It's a general, take it as it resonates. It is a very codependent energy. This person might be um, kind of dwelling in the darker elements of their personality if it's not a Capricorn. Um, you know, it's also talks about addictions and um, I just heard the word habitual or that's what flashed into my mind, habitual. This person... Okay, for a few of you on the very negative side, I keep seeing habitual liar. And so you may be dealing with the habitual liar, quite literally. Um, but of course, that's not going to be all of you, okay? Um, so on the more negative side, yeah, that is the message that I got. For some of you, for others of you, it's just this, they're just simply in the darker, in a dark place right now, okay? Um, or kind of dwelling in, in the more negative side of things right now. All right. Sorry, your cards kind of flew here. How you view this person? You view them as the Queen of Swords and what's that? The Knave of Chalices, which is the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is a bit of an emotional immature energy. Um, the Queen of Swords is an emotionally detached energy. So this person might be emotionally detaching from you or you, they, there's a sense of frustration here. There's a sense of anger, um, here 
Like there might be temperamental problems with this person here and that's kind of how you're viewing them. Um, it's a sense of disappointment as well. And like I said, I was feeling, I was feeling pretty heavy, uh, before the reading. So, yeah, person you're dealing with, how they view you. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. So, they view you as the Eight of Swords, Chariot, King of Swords. Now, it's interesting, they view you as the King of Swords, you view them as the Queen, it's a general, so it doesn't matter if you're male or female, but that's a pairing there. It is uh, similar energies, but they view you in a more stern energy than you are viewing them. This is like a self-restriction here as well. So they view you as possibly um, restricting movement forward here or just being very analytical, very uh, judgmental of them. Okay. But wanting to move forward with that. I feel like this person knows like at the heart of you, Virgo, that you you want to be fair. Okay. But there's some amount of self-restriction here in the movement forward. And I'm going to clarify that. I also got a uh, flash into my mind was that Somebody's not interested, okay, in hearing it right now. That could be you or them. So, end of this time period, which would be end of July, early August. What can Virgo expect? So here you have the Queen of Cups, the uh, Four of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. Okay. Um, this is a softening up of this energy. It's a very emotional energy that you're going to be in for the next two weeks. I think that, you know, some of you are having some changes occur here. But I feel it's on it's on a more emotional level. And I think that... I don't think you expected the depth of the emotion that you are going to be feeling over the next two weeks. We are in a retrograde till the end of July. And so that's not like entirely shocking because retrogrades will pull up, you know, things that we typically filter. Um, and so I just see that for you, Virgo, a, a more emotional space for you right now. I do see with the Queen of Cups here that it's, you will become more balanced in it towards the end of the time frame. Um, I think there's still going to be confusion surrounding this, though. So I think that there's like kind of back and forth between uncertainty and feeling balanced. You know what I'm saying? Like there's still some sort of back and forth energy here. And that's kind of blocking you from gaining like stability within the situation. Um the Queen of Cups, too, in this deck, and this is your energy, so it's it's the energy you're embodying, is a very, uh, like, soothing, mothering energy here. So I, I feel like you're going back and forth there between, like, that type of persona and then feeling confused about that for whatever reason. So, oops, person you're dealing with. It's going to be their energy. Sorry, my hair got stuck in there. <laughs> Big hair problems, you know. Yeah, I find hair everywhere. Anyways, ADD. Back to you, Virgo. So, <laughs> this person at the end of the month is Judgment, Ten of Wands, King of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. So, I feel like this person is making a decision to move forward despite the 
burdens that they feel are placed on them. Um, some of you might actually be dealing with a fire sign. Like I said, I have a couple other zodiac signs here, but it's going into a more creative and independent energy. I think this person literally wants to unload these. I'm like, I'm like getting teared up right now. <laughs> like I'm getting very emotional. I feel like this person wants to release I think that they feel a very heavy, he there's heaviness around this situation. And I'm just feeling that. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, hold on a second. Let me collect myself. I don't usually get that from these two cards. So that's interesting. Um, so they're making a decision to move forward. You know, also this is... This is a heaviness, but this is pushing past it. You know, um, this is someone who also is unnecessarily carrying on more than they can handle, but they think they can handle it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, this person thinks they can handle more than they can handle is what I'm saying to you. Um, but the good news is, is that then they go into the King of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, which is a much more independent energy okay this is um going into more of an action oriented energy here so i'm gonna clarify these now why are the two pentacles and get more specific so that was kind of on a general surface level, and now I'm going to dig a little bit deeper, see what else I can do here for you. That's the devil. Whoa! Oh my gosh. So one of your clarifiers is the Eight of Swords. And they saw you as the Eight of Swords. So, why the chariot? Yes! Oh my gosh, I saw that card earlier. I saw that there was a, a, a disinterest here or um, like an emotional detachment. Like somebody didn't want to hear it. And the Four of Cups came up twice now and that's one of the meanings of the four of cups okay so let me see what the seven of cups is wow this is a heavy reading uh Virgo. So I got judgment as the clarifier for the judgment card. Oh my gosh, no way. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't mean to be dramatic. But I clarified judgment. I got judgment. Different deck. I clarified the Ten of Wands. I got the Ten of Wands. I told you, I feel I feel very heavy energy on this person's side. And so, like, my clarifiers aren't really clarifiers. They're just solidifying that to me, which is, I mean, what are the odds of that? Like, seriously, okay? So, King of Wands. <laughs> That's the King of Wands. And the Knight, Nine of Pentacles. about that so yeah wow wow okay so Virgo let me get a little more detailed now over the two of Pentacles you had the nine of swords and the ten of Pentacles pop out something's I think that there's a lot of worry and concern here regarding either career finances or the home situation for some of you 
because the Ten of Pentacles to me in this deck is a family card, but um, it could mean a lot of things. Your sense of security, your sense of self, your sense of self-security, self-identity popped into my mind. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of emotion creeping up onto you uh, this upcoming next two weeks here. And I think that um, Virgo, on the very on the surface, Virgos seem very, um, you know, all the typical Virgo things, analytical, very down to earth, um, not very uh, unemotional. You can seem very unemotional on the surface, some Virgos. But deep within, I feel like Virgo is one of the most sensitive signs of the zodiac. But uh, as far as like the depth of which they feel emotion and but I feel like it's surprising you <laughs> like maybe you didn't know that you were going to feel it as much as you're feeling it right okay so there is some stress here some juggling going on within the home environment too could be with finances like I said now the person you're dealing with had the two of rods over the devil card it's like this person's looking for answers, you know, I think they're at um, a crossroads, but they're kind of getting in their own way. So they're kind of blocking their own progress because of the devil energy, which is a very negative, pessimistic energy. So it's like they block their own progress. They're blocking their own progress kind of by embodying that type of energy here. Now, you had the Eight of Swords fall over how you view this person. They viewed you as the Eight of Swords. So you're both restricting yourself from each other. That's quite obvious here. Um, I think that this person may have walked away from you or is trying to leave behind some resentment here, okay, or you are. They're, they know that, you know, they're, that you're capable of giving more than you're giving is what I'm saying. So, like, they're, they know that you're restricting that, uh, and you are. You are restricting it, okay? Um, I do feel that this person views you as um, the world card over the chariot, which is moving forward, wrapping up chapters, you know, um, sticking to your guns, okay? And I feel that they also feel that you are not interested in hearing maybe their, um, I just heard sob story. This is very interesting reading. Some of you are interested in hearing their sob story. I don't know what that means. Um, that's not all of you. That can't be. Some of you are just, they view you as not interested in hearing it. You know, whatever it is, or taking on a very my way or the highway approach. Like they view you as like, like maybe you don't want or you can't or you didn't see their side of it um, for whatever reason. Now, the Seven of Cups here, Four of Pentacles, High Priestess is the clarifiers. So this is confusion, this is holding grudges, this is secrets. And I feel like that's why the situation goes back and forth between you being emotionally open and available and then kind of going to like almost like an untrusting, like an untrusting vibe. And so you go back and forth between that energy or you will be going back and forth between that energy during this time frame. Now they're over here, you know, in judgment, 10 of wands, feeling the heaviness of being judged quite literally or being the one doing it. And then the king of wands is the page of swords. So I feel like this person is seeking some new information that's going to help them be more independent. And they may be communicating that to you towards the end of this time frame, but there's still a bit of like temperamental type of energy here because the page of swords is also kind of like a gossipy uh, rumor immature type of energy or can be on the negative side so some of them are embodying that for others it's just they're seeking more information and then they're getting some sort of enlightenment here that helps them to be more independent 
at the end of this time frame, early August. So I want to know what the Ace of Swords is. And what's the High Priestess? On the Four of Wands. So I just wanted to get a little more clarification before I leave you today, Virgo, as to what this new information is about on their side. So there might be some new information regarding, I have the Hierophant here, Queen of Swords, could be dealing with the Air Sign or Taurus. Uh... But not all of you. It's it's an energy of some. They're emotionally detaching from this relationship, this partnership, whatever this is for you. Yeah, and as I say that, I get the death card on your side, which talks about endings. Three of Swords that I left over here didn't even see it. Uh, that talks about endings. So, um, or Scorpio energy. Okay, some of you might have a Scorpio around. So I feel like this person is wanting to break free, quite literally, of whatever these burdens are. They want to be more independent, and they're going to embody that energy towards the end of this time period. And the Queen of Swords is someone who cuts out, cuts out the unnecessary, cuts out people, cuts out communication. Um... But I feel like, the, so for some of you, this person might communicate that, um, you know, that they want to be more independent and they don't want to work with you anymore or partner with you anymore. They won't be, all right? Um, for others of you, this is simply, you know, this person communicating and asserting their independence, not necessarily that they don't want to be in a partnership with you anymore, but some of them are going to be in a very independent energy and they're going to be assertive, very assertive of that because I feel like this person feels that they know better than you with the Hierophant here. And also, um, the Hierophant is someone, yeah. Who feels they have more knowledge or does have more knowledge Quite possibly for some of you. Um, and like I said, you know, you are in this energy of kind of going back and forth between feeling emotional and confused. Uh, then you had the Eight of Pentacles death card come out. So there's an ending here. For some of you, it's in the work environment. Like I said, this could be all work. This could be love and work. It could be love, family, friend. This is whatever it resonates for you. But I feel like, you know, it's a sense of wanting to work on self and um, you, you're you wanting to put an ending to the back and forth, that's for certain. And I guess the guidance here is to continue to work on yourself, your internal self, your things that bring you joy, okay? So if you have hobbies, if you have you know, work, if work brings you joy, things like that. Some of you might have helpful people around you as well during this time period. It's a sense of wanting to stabilize and rebuild Virgo for the month of July. So zodiac signs you could be dealing with. I have, like I said, Taurus. I have a Capricorn. I have lots of air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Scorpio. Let's see. Cancer. Libra. 
are the predominant zodiac signs I'm seeing right now. But keep in mind, it's a general reading, so it's going to be different for all of you. That could be placements in your birth chart or this person's birth chart and or it could just be the energy that's surrounding you over the next two weeks. Either way, I hope that it resonated for you and I, I wish you all the very best. Until next time, Virgo, namaste. Bye.